So what's up guys, another Siege. So we had to play AF Legends. They are pretty good. They were number three, like ranked going in here. Let's see how we can do. Well, maybe you've already seen like the end results, but let's see how I did the fights. Let's see like how some of the strategies were, how far we get, how did we do? So the Dark Chung Lee was actually pretty new. Like I never really seen it on defense. She does give like cleansing and attack debuff. However, I didn't feel like it was that much like pressure. To be honest and i just felt like i can double bomb it i was kind of lucky that it didn't do s3 there but i feel either way you could cleanse it then if they actually do s3 so all in all i feel like it's pretty fine also the double bombs just insta killed um the dark chun lee which is pretty nice like both of these bombers are like no actually dover is on speed attack attack i think no wait i think he's triple attack as well and Xion is triple attack for sure so at this point it's just like okay like how can you like play around with the shield that you can actually kill him or you just proc and you kill him that way that's also pretty nice so yeah and then you just have to like well there 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 is a destroy kamun but you can also just like blow through the shield with the triana uh, yeah, in most cases you just have to like heal a bit and that kind of stuff. It's a new uh, defense. It didn't do that well for them, to be honest. Like they had a few of them. I also think like you need like a full full tower of this to be good. And I think they had like three or something. But I didn't feel it was that good. But it was an interesting one, definitely. Def so for the next fight, well, typical defense, typical AO from me <laughs> is what it is exactly the same as i always do this one actually has will runes so then you just blow it up which is pretty nice actually my savannah in current build here was pretty slow i'm gonna change her uh, back to something i had before um sierra still doesn't like to land any bombs for some odd reason but at least she does proc that helps out so here's the question like what can you do s2 didn't really make sense and that can happen but yeah and stay with your internet connect i get that from time to time and then nothing is wrong i don't know in this case i chose to kill the vigor because i felt like it was more of a threat like vigor if he procs he goes into healing that kind of uh, stuff it gets more annoying whereas i felt like just damage from the savannah which is just like pure damage i I think I can deal better with like even if she, she puts me to human form and go mental like I feel like with bombs I can like easily handle that come on unless he starts proccing resisting bombs and everything work it <laughs> two bomb stun resist bomb stun resist is still stupid but that's just me from coming from a person that bombs a lot so then we had to fight it again and again typical team I use is this with Skogol I had to change it up, Skoko was missing a rune, but yep. This is a really typical team I use pretty much like every siege because this is defense, you see every siege and I like the people that know me, I really like my Balvrig Amelia combo. I'm not using it as much anymore in uh, RTA, did use it in SLBC, didn't really work out, but I feel like in current meta with Savannah and that kind of stuff, it's better to not use it too much. I mostly just use it because it's Josephine's, which mostly just really works really well. And that's actually the thing is I started using it because of Josephine meta. Still, of course, used against like Amelia's. But Amelia's, Amelia's also no longer meta in RTA as much. So I actually have to start making more RTA videos. I, I, like I made that like uh, says watching RTA video, but didn't get that many views. I didn't get that many replies. So I'm not sure like what I want to do with it, but. Leave it in the comments if you want more RTA kind of stuff. I I I got a I got a few plans. It's just that I'm a bit busy right now with other stuff that I can't really focus on it right now. I first have to finish that and then I start like making more videos like probably like daily or every other day. Like currently I can't can't keep up the pace with that to do that. But I have some more plans for videos coming up. But in the meantime, this team it's really simple. You're just playing around with the shield. You're trying to get the Skogo. Um, to, to get his skill up like as fast as possible you don't really want to waste your amelia s2 as much as possible because you prefer to cleanse it or use it when you you have to cleanse um and you try to heal as often with uh Bolfric when necessary so even if you have just three stacks just heal from the highest unit do not never heal the unit with the shield if you're not full stacks because you're actually not gonna heal through the uh, shield so for the people that don't own a Bolfric or don't know how it works 
with five stacks, he steals from max HP. W without five stacks, he steals from current HP. So it's a lot different. And that's that. And then we had to fight a Chungi Pungi, as we call it. We, we, we called it the Chungi Pungi. So, again, we noticed that, like, uh, usually I did this similar team with Cyrus instead of Poseidon. But because of, like, the S3 uh, buff that it can't glance on, like, anything, uh, Poseidon is actually a lot better than Zyros. Because if you reset uh, Vigor, but it procs, like, once or twice, you're still, like, pretty fucked. My Tiana was not crit damage here, I noticed that, that my um, Tiana was no longer crit damage. Normally I have a uh, crit damage Tiana, like speed crit damage attack, but I changed some runes during Russian, that's why. Normally that would have done like 40k something, but still, easy win, really easy win. Is what is actually funny, like so many of my guildies actually uh, prepared um, MST counters, like, like everyone was like, working on MST counters, that I actually barely fought any MSTs because all of the MSTs were like called like super fast. So actually I did like, I, I waited like quite a lot of time and I mostly did like cleanup. And if I actually went for a Lucian that was stronger, you saw the Lucian at the start, it was a 122 Lucian. It would have been better, <laughs> but yeah, this also totally worked out. And I wanted to make Molong low, that Molong was the main focus because that Lucian, as you saw at the start, didn't have that much HP. Um, maybe also would have been better if Molong moved before Artemil. Yeah, probably would have been better if Molong moved before Artemil. But in any case, this was fine because he didn't really nemesis anything. So it's a bit more risky like this, but it's better to have Molong move before. Uh, this is a pretty slow Molong. It's like, I think it's plus 112 or something, but it's like HP, HP, HP. But in the end, at some point you get there. I could have S3 there, but I knew that this skill was coming up. And I was talking to Guild here because we were like a voice calm like all the time. And I, like they asked me, it's like, hey, can you wait with taking this tower? So it's like an, a maneuver that worked out at that time. So let's skip it ahead. Bop, and they're like, uh, wait, let's go for the amputation damage. And done like 13, 14 Ks. Not, not bad, not bad. So then <laughs> I was, like I said, like I was mostly fighting net five. So I was like, normally I throw my uh, MST at a KVT. Too many acronyms, man. But for the people that know, they know. But so I was kind of looking for KVTs, but they didn't have KVTs. KVT stands for Kamun Figure Triana. They didn't have any uh, Kamun Figure Triana. So I was like, okay, I mostly use my um, a a KVT or no, my MST, which also could be MSF which I mostly use on offense. I mostly use like MS plus F, which F stands for a friend. Um, but I was like, oh, this highly works as well because you can, you actually have a heal block from Martina and you just steal the, like stealing the uh, buffs from, uh, what's it called? Stealing the buffs from Figer is always really good. So didn't get a stun there, didn't get like a the defense or like a heal block there, which could have been like pretty beneficial for this fight. Do get quite some procs here and there. Didn't really want to use uh, the heal until I get armor broken, to be honest, because armor broken would have been like pretty dangerous. Also, these procs are getting me quite low, pretty low, but I also proc quite some, so it's fair to say like we're pretty even in procs. Also, I know if Figure dies, then it's pretty, like, even if he kills my unit here, it's pretty difficult for him to actually get through, like, the MS units, because they're just, they're so strong. They they steal, like, you're constantly stealing his shield. That's just so OP. It's like, oh, you have a shield? Now we have a shield. <laughs> it's like, you don't, like, it's not even like we have a shield. It's like, no, 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 just we have a shield, because we took yours. <laughs> we took your shit, and we use it for own stealing your lunch money. And these offenses went pretty fast, so we're going for a little bit slower one. The, the, yeah, this clip is a little bit longer. Uh, also, common team I use pretty much all the time. Ooh, blurry. Um, that's the one I said last time that I used with the Miho, where I said it's better with a Perna. This is me showcasing it with a Perna. So he actually has full will, doesn't matter at all. Uh, my Sean is slower, of course my Leo is faster because uh, Leo. Um, but yeah, you kind of want to juggle like between the HP and like the focus because uh, two units, well, one unit is mainly going to focus per now. One unit is not going to focus per now. So, well, yeah, three nice procs of that unit, but whatever. Also, um, 
Like the Perna is really good at healing the Sean. Sean can heal herself a little bit. So you just kind of want to like juggle. Like do you use S2? Do you use S1? Do you want to stun anything? Do you want to um, provoke? That kind of stuff. Most of the time you always want to provoke. But it's more like do you want to put Sean S2 on herself or not? And then also like you kind of want to juggle around. Like okay who has the shield? So who do you want to hit or who do you not want to hit? And I would recommend to focus like Kamun is less. Because Kamun is by far the least threat. And the biggest threat of course is Savannah. The biggest threat, of course, is Savannah, but mainly in um, Beast Rider form, because otherwise she doesn't armor break, so there's no AoE armor break, which is also pretty nice. And my Leo is Destroy, which can help out from time to time. It's not a must, but since I didn't know like what other like any other offset for an offense, Leo is not that useful. Like you can go Nemesis, you can go like full stats, doesn't really matter. Destroy most of the time I use Leo in these kind of scenarios. Having Destroy him in him then actually does make sense. Having a Perna on Destroy in this case also actually does make sense because you're kind of expecting him to take first turn. Your Perna could die once, but then like the moment your Perna dies and uh, you just go for the Provoke, your Perna takes a couple of procs because Perna always procs. We know how Perna works. You just like get your Perna back up. He, he isn't the main focus. You heal him back again. You cleanse him back again. Like he doesn't die that is like easy. And this, this team is just, it's, it's highly strong against this. You can't use this, however, against like, or you can, but I don't recommend it. If there's an Orion instead of a figure, if there's an Orion instead of a figure, you're probably going to kill yourself on like Orion proccing because if Orion procs as one, as one, as three, as one, as one, as three, as one, you know how Orion works. So yeah, Perna creating water, completely normal. Nothing weird to say here. Easy peasy. And then killing the Kamun solely like through the shield is not that difficult. Like you out heal him anyways. You just need one or two procs probably. And you also push his attack bar back like a little bit with Leo. If you get a dot in there, you, you hit like 5% of the shield, that kind of stuff. So you get there at some point. It's not that much of an issue. With Miho, it's more of an issue actually. So yep, easy win. Oh, and now we have someone like I, I was I I was shouting in the game. Well, I was shouting in the voice chat for this one. It was I was like, what? Really? Really now? So let's see how bad it actually was. So I didn't actually know it was full will. I kind of like hoped it, but it was not a necessity. I would say, but it was pretty nice. That Ganymede did absolutely nothing. He's pretty high Aki actually. Like the only reason I use him for is actually Aki. He is speed crit damage attack though, but he is pretty high on Aki, which would have been like a lot nicer if there were like no. Um, no speed buff, no glancing debuff like on those units. So that's one proc from that roll. That's two, that's three. <laughs> so we start off with three procs pretty much. Well, I did take a turn like first hand though. But yeah, that's the, the issue. Like if your armor broken, Farad does almost no damage, which I was like, ooh, am I going to lose this one? Am I going to lose this one? So he procs, he procs into defense, into proc, into another proc where he just... Wait, 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 instant replay, instant replay, instant replay. One, a two, a defend, a one, a two. <laughs> well, defend actually resets the counter, but it's just pretty stupid that a unit goes five times. Yeah, so he has to proc double on the first one, then defense is an, an additional turn, like always. And then he went for another one, which was, I was like, can, can we just slow the fuck down? I think he could have S3 on like his last hit though. I'm happy he didn't do that. And uh, I want a uh, two. <laughs> this guy keeps going, man. This is the one that that's the gift that keeps on giving. But then we go for at full sleep and or a feel like A to B reset, freezes, that kind of jazz. But still not in the clear yet. He has more destroy than I have because I don't. But yeah, and at some point you have Ganymede coming up, which is pretty nice. And you just have a lot of figure damage. So Varad was mainly there like Verret was just tanky, so I'm happy he focused for red and not figure. Figure would have died way easier from this. Um, because for red is actually speed defense defense in this scenario. Or actually triple de No, I think he's triple defense. I should make him speed defense defense if I use him here. I normally never use for red to be honest, but also like not, not TOA 
No, actually with TOA also not that much anymore. I feel like Poseidon is just better than Pharrell because you don't really, like there's so many units that already stun that I don't really need. But in the end, it was a clear, it was pretty close, like if he would have procced into S3, but Ganymede's S3 would have actually like made it pretty nice. Also, he can't stun because of that, which is pretty nice because most Rahuls are actually, I, I fear a Rahul that despair, despairs a lot more than, because you can strip and stun, which like everyone says Gianna's OP, so make your role Gianna. So then we have two more fights left, one eight out of eight so far. This team was a little bit wonky. I, I thought I removed the will runes from my uh, Elusia, which ended up pretty bad. So I was hoping like more units off will. That unfortunately didn't stun and Gianna went for perfect AI and then this one went for perfect AI and then this one went for perfect AI after proc and I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> this was a pretty bad team. It would have been better if Elucia wasn't stunned. And yeah, it was just like a lot better if Elucia wasn't stunned. That was the main thing. I was still like, I, I maybe have like a few chances of coming back, but uh, those are pretty slim, pretty slim. And he actually was violent as well, which is good for a Gian on defense. My monkey is um, also that got resisted pretty bad. The uh, Elucia is actually reasonably low HP, so I actually wanted to clean that one off, but mm. yeah, in the end, not the best team, not the best team I could have taken. So I think it would have been a lot better if I just had will runes. Like uh, if I just had will runes or no will runes, sorry, if I just had no will runes, it would have been a lot better. Also, if he had a little bit less will runes, it would have been better. Or if I stunned the uh, figure with the skill one. Um, right off the bat would have also been a lot better. So, a little bit unlucky, a little bit of bad team. If you can bruiser it, illusion it. And that's how it is. So, let's see how fast the Kona is. Ah, oh, that Kona is 207 on the fight set. I was like, why the hell not? And I put my illusion on my uh, fat illusion stats from Arena Rush. And it was like, easy outspeed, easy illusion. 16Ks. GG, 16Ks on the speed lead. That's nice. He has some potential to solo me here, but I have a vampire, uh, Susano. So, like, how, how much is he actually gonna do? There's, there's no way. Like, there, there, there's, there's no way, homie. You did, you did, did. So that's a nine out of ten. Could have been ten, ten, but is what it is. Is what it is. So for the ones that don't want any spoilers, I zoomed the game in a, a bit so you don't actually see like how far it went. So um, I actually, I was on a uh, like Discord call with like the guys like throughout the whole thing. So we actually get like a uh, like a low ground, like our, our tactic was to get like low ground, but like really focus on win rate. So we actually didn't focus that much on like getting the 13 towers, but we really focused on like having high win rates, having people like re to if they want to hit something and that kind of stuff. So we didn't really go for like any fancy cuts or anything. We actually let them like walk with like 13 for a bit. So we were really focusing on win rate. Main reason for that is we've seen like a lot of matches at some point, like really far at the end, like we were still hitting each other and that kind of stuff. But we noticed that really far at the end, like last six, seven K points, people don't do anything anymore because they just simply don't have any hits anymore. So we actually kept like that like slowly on for a long time. And then we started like kind of going for a cut like here. And this is where we were like, okay, we have to like pick up pace because they were like two and a half K points uh, uh, like ahead. So this is the point where we started like picking up pace and like started going for like the 13, 14, that kind of stuff. But we noticed they still had like a lot of, but we noticed they still had like a lot of wings as well. So then we were at the final part. You can't actually see because, oh, whoops. At some point we were like, okay, we have to go for the cut. So we actually went for the cut, but they did the same thing and they had like a little bit more wings than we did. So at this point, which was really close, like if we would have cut them there, like you can see at the bottom that they're doing the same to us. If we would have cut them there, we could have won if they couldn't cut us. But in the end, they had two attacks, like they had more attacks left and we couldn't cut them. They could cut us. So it was actually a really, really close match though. Was a fun siege, was leading it for like pretty long time. And let's look through some like offenses, defenses, that kind of stuff.
so resize that back so who did what so we had a bunch of like 10 tens which were three they had two i did nine and one i had a lot of defenses i like we were pretty much like spamming like some of my defense which was mostly like um at the first we were really spamming the gianna defense so we have like three uh sierra gianna marshas we were really spamming those we had more before but those were like those are one of those like defenses you want to spam because first few times it's really easy to kill but then like if you at some point miss your raccoonies your light tanks your your that kind of stuff at some point it gets pretty difficult so it started like putting like quite some pressure that they didn't want to hit it anymore and also had some decent defense wins we also started putting a lot of like kvts like all over so they also had like a few like uh Terranis had like uh, a really good mst which worked pretty well uh, asuna had a good mst Scrary had a good MST. We also lost some more against like some more random defense, which is quite uh, unfortunate. But yeah, in the end, we did pretty well. We had some defenses that didn't get that many success. Of course, Philippity always getting like quite some successes on the defense. He had a better rate than I did, right? 921 against 1023. I think his rate is just by a little bit better if you check it percentage wise. Um, they had was well, sneaky for example 215 like spamming the defense but the thing is like if it has a low defense rate it could also be that they were focusing like their best teams like because it's like a, like a more known player that they focus like their best offense like okay we see like the MST of this person it's like okay we know this guy not really so we probably just use like we use a good offense but not the best and then we see like oh we see like Philip D oh we, we drop in the best this guy is like crazy rune quality so that's also like it doesn't really have to go one in one that your room that your um that if you have a low defense rate that it's necessarily like a bad defense it can be that they're just throwing like the best offenses at it royal had a really good defense rate with 920 uh or for our 912 and then for us we also had well since was played by someone else because he didn't want to play at that moment um but his uh defense rate was pretty good actually for us the lower players they had one of the better defense rate because uh, Alice, Alice also had uh, uh, a Gianna defense, which did pretty well. She her uh, Gianna defense does pretty well in general. Firas Firas had, um, I think mainly his KVT did pretty well, and his Savannah picked up some wins at the end. So we had a few people with not that high win rate, but a it can happen, can totally happen. So. Um, uh, overall, fun siege was fun to do. Was really close. A lot of people didn't expect it to be this close or we actually had a chance of winning. I think we had a fair shot of winning if we just had like a few more wins. Maybe my own, maybe a few more defense wins would have been nice. But I think all in all, fun siege. So that was the siege tournament for us. And if we check Europe as a whole, actually all of the like the, the late incomers actually won. So with late comers, I mean um, Squad Zero, Contra, Aftermath and EU Legends. Uh, I think the match from Squad Zero and Taiko was pretty close early on, but then um, Squad Zero overtook them. I think Taiko is playing really well in these huge tournaments. Like they don't have, like let's say they don't have that many well-known, really good players, but they actually play like really well. They have a few, of course, but they, I think I'm not sure who's doing their strategy, but I think their like their map awareness and how they place like the towers and what they attack. I think they're really good at like the siege tournament style. Um, also their offenses it's crazy man they have so like it's their defense successes that's really low but their offense successes is insanely high they're super good in siege so it's really cool to see that they do it pretty well again i think they got to the round of four last time they had to play uh light hope in the fourth round or then no their third round they had to play light hope which we had to play in the second round this time which was my previous video so it's Aftermath against Aftermath and then Squad Zero against Contra. So I, I assume Aftermath EU is going to win Aftermath Legends, which is the number one against the number three. And then, oh no, wait, that's number two against number three. And then uh, number one has to play the number four. And I think Squad Zero would take Contra, but they actually had quite some issues with Taiko defenses. So I'm not too sure if they would be on pace. Like Aftermath AU, uh, they pretty much stomped Varro de Halis. Lower their Hales. So I'm not sure. I think this squad zero should win. This aftermath should win. So we have a squad zero aftermath finals again. And I'm not sure. Last time aftermath won. I think if squad zero plays as they played against Teku, they're gonna lose. If they step up their game, they're gonna win. 
So if they play like they normally play, I think Squad Zero should win. If they play like they play today, then it's going to be difficult. Then I think it, I would have to give it to Aftermath. But we'll see. We'll see. So that's it for Siege for me right now. And hope you enjoyed these videos. I'll still be making Siege content. I'm also planning to make like a Siege offense video of like what I use for the units that I actually want to show. Because actually a lot of my units that I use on offense are of course on defense. So I have pretty quite a lot of defense, which you also saw that like you don't normally get like 30 defenses placed like throughout the siege that much unless you have like multiple defenses. So just to go over my defenses real quick that I have. Um, my KOS, my first one, wasn't really placed that much. My uh, MST was actually beaten down pretty good, except the first time. And then uh, this one had like quite a, like they had some struggles with it. At some point they killed it, then they had some struggles, then they killed it, and then they had some struggles. This one, same thing, a little bit easier, but I think this one was one of those that you uh, see that like at some point they kind of start failing, and. This one wasn't even hit once. This one wasn't even placed. So it was mainly like my most defense successes came from my Gianna, like uh, Sierra Marshall Gianna D. That's it. And see you in the next one.